when the world needed them the least, they returned. That's right, Boo Boo. Today we're talking about the end of Battlefield 2042 and the beginning of the next Battlefield game. Yay! Everybody kind of excited though. I got a video that I want to show you guys here. Get ready for the climax. Wait for it. And like the video if you want. No specialists in the next Battlefield game. Just like the video if you actually love specialists though. All right, let's get back Battlefield to the Battlefield 2042 will end with the current season, marking an end to one of the more tumultuous journeys for the franchise as okay. they shift more focus over to the new, or rather upcoming, Battlefield 7, which according to leaks will be a war between NATO and a massive private, private military. military. What? Yeah, and they, they're not gonna do versus Russia or versus China. Who are they gonna do with? Like, And I really hope the private military is not like gender. Field. Talk about it. Uh -oh. So firstly, there was a blog post announcing that Motive, the studio behind the recent Dead Space remaster and heavily involved in the Battlefront games and Star Wars Squadrons, yeah. is creating a new team to work with the next Battlefield project. Yeah, y'all still has had a team though. Why y'all fired? Uh, if you guys do not know, recently, like during their earnings call, EA did confirm that, yep, they're working on the next Battlefield game. And they also ended up firing their dev team. You remember Marcus Leto, right? Yeah, the guy that was a uh, Apparently gathering all the feedback the guy that was very very communicative with the fan base and you know what respect and I was talking about it the entire battlefield community was like this is gonna be our savior he's gonna make battlefield great again and guess what he ended up getting fired as well guys it, it'll be like that but or wait for it. universe connected universe as they vaguely describe it they also again mention involvement with the single player narrative experience on the next battlefield game and I do wonder if they're taking over some of the work that Ridgeline was doing on the single player experience before that studio was shut down earlier yeah. this year. Yeah, Marcus this Leto, one of the key members of the Halo narrative <laughs> team who was heading that studio, oh. said that he had nothing positive to say about EA. And this is where we add, bro. Like, this is absolutely insane because I remember a year ago, Marcus Leto was like being very, very positive. Not necessarily positive or negative. He was more like, hey, just let me know what you guys like. You guys, what you like in Battlefield 3? What do you like in Battlefield 4? We're gonna do fans justice and we're gonna bring it in the next Battlefield game. He gathers so Down much feedback Marvel. and then Activ- uh, or I should say EA, I almost said Activision. EA turned around and they fired the homie, man. This is absolutely bull squash, dog. This is bullsh- bull <laughs> regarding Wait. his entire team getting laid off shortly right, after the studio was formed. And the entire game industry is doing sweeping layoffs right now and it's been absolutely brutal to anyone in the tech sector. It's yep. also generally been made a bit worse by the massive bonuses that many company executives continue to take each year while still firing off huge portions yeah. of their company. But that's a whole nother conversation. Uh, can a brother get two pennies? And let me bring it back to Battlefield. So along with this announcement, they also revealed that season seven will be the last season for Battlefield 2042. And while that yeah, doesn't yeah. necessarily mean support for the game will end, it's seasonal content will, that which will, yeah. probably means no more things like new assets and maybe just a few game modes and events and yeah. stuff like that maybe Jonah like a microtransaction here or two maybe we're gonna get like another uh, skin here yeah makes sense and a lot of people also did think that we're gonna get like the next battlefield game like by the end of this year but apparently tom henderson came out and he said that the next battlefield game is gonna be coming out by the end of next year though i, I feel like that that's kind of late right because uh yeah we're hearing that the next uh, gta gta 6 it's either coming out early 2025, although right now a lot of people are convinced that it's coming out by the end of 2025. Might you might as well even get delayed to 2026. If that happens, Bruh. then it's like it's Joe over, right? But if Battlefield, the next Battlefield game, whether you want to call it Battlefield 6 or Battlefield 7 or Bad Company 3, I kind of want Bad Company 3 though. If you had the option, which one would you? Or are you like, hey man, I don't want Battlefield Bad Company 3, I don't want Bad Company 3 because they're gonna just ruin it completely and then I'll have a sour taste, okay? If you're gonna say that, understandable, but if the next Battlefield game comes out by the end of 2025 and the next GTA game also comes out by the end of 2025, which one are you gonna play? I mean, 9 out of 10 folks are definitely gonna, like, pick up GTA 6, and that's it! Every other game is just gonna do abysmal, and I think nobody should release their game within that 2-3 months window 
when GTA 6 comes out. If GTA 6 comes out by the end of 2025, dog, you need to wait two, three months after you release that. Don't, expect like, don't content release packs it. or surprise maps. And personally, I have to say that I am actually surprised that DICE even delivered seven seasons. I was predicting each season to be the last one for the past several seasons. But by most measures, I would say that EA definitely righted the ship with 2042 and turned it into a competent game. Not something that I would call a great game or a truly epic example of the Battlefield oh, franchise, but one that is still fun to play with friends yeah, nonetheless. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. technically, 2042 is just about as popular oh. as it's ever been right now. Yeah, honestly, which one would you? Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 2023 or Battlefield 2042? Which one would you? Uh, I always liked Battlefield 2042 gunplay though. Even in the beginning, like I, I did, I did like the gunplay uh, of this game. Oh, the always. daily concurrent players on Steam are topping out at over 20,000 regularly, which is quite healthy for any game in the franchise, let alone 2042. This game might have died off early, but the player base came There's back and is more. having an extremely strong tail end of players that I would say rivals just about any other game in the franchise. I remember yeah. Battlefield 4 hanging around 17k concurrent and stuff That's like crazy. that and it was still a widely loved and played game and yeah battlefield 4 is like the most successful battlefield game if i'm not mistaken battlefield 3 is my favorite of all time right i love bad company 2 as well i, I believe that battlefield 3 is what like uh, Bad Company 2 was successful, don't get me wrong, but Battlefield 3 is where like everybody was at and I remember like going into Battlefield 4, the hype was just absolutely insane but they kind of fumbled the bag initially and then like a, I believe a two years later, two years after launch, the game turned out to be good. You know, they, they fixed the, the netcode issues. You remember the netcode? You remember the netcode issues? I don't even know if you guys were around then and I believe it came out in 2013 so it came out at the same time as like PS4 an Xbox One release and it was it was honestly very very good for for the time man I remember bro like back then we actually had the real factions we had we had good maps we had Levolution we had Destruction we had Naval Warfare we also had Jets uh, as well and the map packs were honestly amazing though like we would get like four maps I believe a bunch of weapons new vehicles I believe fifteen dollars per DLC or fifty dollars five zero uh you know half a Benjamin Bruh. Uh, and you can get like a season pass and with that you would get content if you could like season pass or free content I know free content is free and if it's free it's for me I get it but like nowadays the quality of free is just not there I guess we can universally agree that the free maps are just like you know one map in a blue uh, once in a blue moon and it's like it ain't even that good though I, I have I haven't been playing Battlefield 2042 so I cannot comment on that maybe this map that they release is actually good but in terms of Call of Duty Brad I look at it I don't even want to touch bro I don't want to touch 42's journey really is very reminiscent of Battlefield 5 just as the game begins to get good again dice pivots to the next title yeah which yeah, unfortunately yeah, yeah. makes yeah. a lot of financial sense for the company, but it's always disappointing when the game feels like it just had a lot more life to give. Thus is the life, AAA life. game development life cycle, which is such a weird juxtaposition to indie games or even games as a service where they're just trying to make the games last as long as possible and add as much quality and content to them. Now regarding Battlefield 7 or whatever the next <laughs> game is going to be called, we do have some more leaks thanks to our old buddy Tom, Tom Henderson. Henderson. A legend. Yay! Here we are, guys. Get ready, man. Clench your butt cheeks. Stop rolling your fat doobies around. And before we get to the climax, guys, real quick, I want to say I will be starting streams very soon, hopefully, over on Twitch. If you guys got Twitch, uh, this is my Twitch page. Links are always below. Uh, Skiz likes. Uh, if you got Twitch account, definitely feel free to follow. I also have a second channel. This is where we upload UFO content, conspiracy content every single day. All right, let's get back to the content now, boo boo. Allegedly, the game is going to be between NATO and a very large private military. Massive private. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, like, if we, if this game came out, like, five or ten years ago, they would have easily done, like, US versus Russia versus China, like, you know, back then. Or maybe even NATO versus Russia. Bro, like, that would be insane if they did that. I understand why they're not doing that. On this part, I kind of do, okay? Because, like, the real world, the tensions are at an, at an all-time high. Uh, China won Taiwan, Russia won everything, right? They're not cool with NATO, NATO not cool with them. Everybody's, like, ready to drop nukes out there. I, I understand on that one. But in terms of, like, massive private military, like, what are we talking about? Is it going to be, like, specialists? Is it going to be gender field EA? 
I hope it's not gender field. I hope like we got real factions and if they haven't learned their lesson with bad Battlefield 2042 I don't think they ever will if they come out if these singers come out with specialist once again It is Joe over now specialist is obviously not necessarily the problem, but it is a problem Bruh. So, I, they don't do so it. I would imagine that that means the tech and weapons will be somewhat within the same realm And I wouldn't be surprised if the private military is similar to say the Wagner group But would just say a different name or aesthetics to avoid game politics and honestly, yeah. that sounds fine to me. It doesn't really matter too much. EA is, of course, playing it safe. They sell games to many markets and want to maximize yeah. their sales and opportunities. Yeah, could you imagine, like, it was NATO versus Russia? Like, game gets banned in Russia. <laughs> game gets banned in Russia. Uh, uh, yeah, no, honestly, I understand. On that, I understand, but it's just that the private part, I'm kind of confused about. Like, is it going to be gender field? Is it is it is it going to be, like, operator, specialist, and all that bullcrap that people complain about? Um, and right Rightfully so, rightfully so. We do not want specialists, bro. We don't want specialists. We want real factions and we want real class system. Like the video if you agree. So they do what they need to do to make sure that China and Russia aren't a faction in the war. Yeah, it's silly, are. but it's also just what you get with AAA game development these days. I wonder if yeah. they'll have uh, Kevin Spacey be the PMC boss. I'm of course making a COD joke, as that franchise has already dried up the well of potential creativity within the PMC Wars. Honestly, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, I think it was called, was one of my favorite CODs, which is... <laughs> Okay, honestly, like, uh, it wasn't that bad, though, uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, it, honestly, it wasn't that bad, it was a unique idea, but for the time, it felt like alien to a lot of people, so that's why there was a lot of backlash, but looking back at it, I mean, listen, would you rather Van Garbage, Call of Duty Vanguard 2, or Advanced Warfare 2? I would go with Advanced Warfare 2, 100%, if we're, if we're gonna play this comparison game. So in that aspect, absolutely Advanced Warfare. The Warfare2. unpopular opinion these days, perhaps, but it was the one that felt the least like COD, the franchise took some major risks for it. They paid the price, and maybe that's the lesson of the AAA industry. You you sway too far from your baseline, the, the base product that people like, and you get less sales and lots of backlash. Yes. Now back on <laughs> Battlefield, this whole yeah, connected yeah, yeah. universe term seems to keep popping up from EA whenever they're talking about the new Battlefield projects. I'm not exactly sure what connected universe means. EA games, games not included. Means it could mean that they are having interconnected stories between characters, between titles, or that they're making hybrid games where the single players, the battle royales, and the classic nah, multiplayers bro. are all part of the same universe. Th thoughts on battle royale, guys? I, I, if I'm not mistaken, Tom Henderson did leak that the next game is gonna have battle royale, and, and I I don't know, bro, like. Yeah, right, like, why not do, like, a dinosaur mode? Like, uh, you know, for the longest amount of time, Battlefield had those kind of Easter eggs, right? Remember ba Battlefield 3? A lot of people thought that we're gonna get a dinosaur mode in the future. Why not do a dinosaur mode or something that, you know, kind of makes... That you have teased and alluded to in the past. Do something like that. Do some unique. Because Battle Royale has been dried out. I, I feel like that this time they're gonna do, like, a free-to-play. And if I'm not mistaken, they also hired a Call of Duty guy that actually made Warzone. Not sure if you guys heard that news. That was, like, a couple of months ago, so not sure if he's still there or not. I think he's there, because they want the money, right? Everyone that wanna do good for the game, you get fired! Right, but if you are all about him hey and let's ruin the game together, let's make most amount of money by ruining the game. Yeah, you're hired. You are. You're absolutely gonna stay. So I think he's still there, the guy that made Call of Duty Warzone. Yeah, like, what are your thoughts on it? I think this time they're gonna do free to play. They have to, because if they don't do free to play this time, they're brain dead. Like, I, I, I'm not in for battle royale though. If they do, I mean, they're gonna do like whatever. But, but like. If they do Battle Royale and it's not free, that's like absolute brain dead behavior right there. Verse narratives, but come as separate packages, perhaps. My guess is that they're gonna be doing a little bit of both, which is basically copying what COD is doing. What will COD much, do yeah. is probably one of the more common boardroom meetings when it comes to Sadly. deciding what to do with your major FPS project. These yeah, shout, uh, shout out to X Define. Those of you that are unaware, yeah, this is the information that got leaked out by the homie Tom Henderson. Uh, a bit, but then he was uh, reporting on X Define because X Define no, nowhere to be found, and he said that inside 
at, at X Defiant, they're having meetings and they're talking about, hey, let's w let's talk about what Call of Duty would do next, bruh. Y'all suckers need to do what Call of Duty wouldn't do. Because, like, that's the entire reason Call of Duty refugees want to be on your game. Bruh. That's the entire reason why Call of Duty refugees want to touch your game and play your game. This is the entire reason why suckers are always saying that X Defiant is going to be my Call of Duty. They don't mean that it's going to be Call of Duty. Obviously, they want, like, that feel. But they want the original Call of Duty feel without skill-based management, in which they said they're not going to have, which is good, right? But now it has been so long that uh, brothers are brothers are kind of confused. Maybe they're gonna have skill based matchmaking in here, guys. I don't These days. Know, I don't and know, Call of Duty has been connecting its stories and characters for years, so I'm sure someone at EA is like, wow, we need some of that. So perhaps yeah. that is what interconnected means. Then again, the more character like specialist from 2042 created massive backlash. So hopefully, yeah, Vince Sampella, <laughs> one of the creators of Call of Duty, who is now heading the Battlefield project, has more sense than to just keep making Battlefield more like COD. We will Bruh. just have to wait and see. Bruh. I've personally found most of Battlefield's narrative characters to be pretty forgettable, with maybe Battlefield 1 having some of the more yep. likable ones. But modern military characters usually replace any sort of personality with just macho military talk, and it's hard to get dimensionality when everyone is just barking orders or saying, incoming fire, get down, that kind of stuff. They often get bogged down with cliches and more or less unrelatable aspects. And as much as the Bad Company games managed to get I out of those stereotypes a bit, it doesn't sound like EA is rebooting the Bad Company franchise anytime yeah. soon. Uh, yeah, they, they are not. And recently, this what actually happened in the Call of Duty scene as well. I'm not sure if you, got, if you guys were able to see or not. Yeah, like, this is one of those top recommended videos that you need to check it out. This is a must-watch here, guys. Click on it, and I'll see you right there.